Mathematica has always lent itself to being able to be used with interactive whiteboards, so now I'm going to try it with uh, this uh, touch uh, tablet PC. Let's try a graph first up. Okay, let's go plot, um, function, let's try something simple like x squared um, plus 3x minus 5 uh, over to the variable x. Oops, I've got y. Variable x. Minimum minus 2, maximum 7. Uh, click outside, let's enter. And there's our graph. Okay. Let's try a, a trig one or something like that, just for the heck of it. So let's go into advance here and let's see how it goes. Let's do um, a plot of um, sine of... Um, 2x uh, minus 3 and across to the variable x minimum minus 4 maximum 6 and uh, that of course is going to be in radians so let's now click enter and there we have our nice little graph there rather nice okay let's try some algebra Go into an equation. Let's do a solve. So our function will look at, say, something like, um, let's make it a quadratic with uh, uh, imaginary roots. So x squared um, plus 3x, um, make, make, I'm absolutely sure of it, plus 15, and uh, equals 0. And the variable is x. Now let's go to the end. Enter. And of course we've there got our imaginary roots there and, and there. Excellent. Excellent. And uh, very happy with that. I, I wouldn't mind trying um, Wolfram Alpha on here while we're just to see. So if we put in this. Matter of fact, let's do, uh, just for the sheer hell of it, see if uh, we can put a bit of... Um, handwriting recognition in find x if that'll do <laughs> it was a check um yeah it's come out <laughs> find x if um now i go back to our input from here because the maths is a bit difficult to enter without going into the maths input uh x squared minus 3 uh, x plus 1 equals 0 and of course now we have to enter that and it should go to Wolfram Alpha to find the solution let's make sure it does because the big advantage of using Wolfram Alpha is you can just write it in plain English and there's our solutions there in uh, two, the two quadratic uh, solutions which is really quite wonderful